Mini world of endless fun awaits. Translator, Dragon Boat Translation Editor. Dragon Boat Translation Reiki is not a gas nor a tangible object. It is an absolute energy that permeates throughout the universe in the afternoon. Everyone attended a lesson on getting to know Reiki in the auditorium. After they had finished their lunch and taken their afternoon nap, the lesson was not taught by those who wore black vests. Instead, a middle-aged scholar explained Reiki to them in a pre-recorded video. During his self-introduction, Zikiansi, who was sitting beside Ren Suo, remarked, isn't he one of the youngest scholars in the Chinese Academy of Sciences at present? Is he very capable? Yuan Deng asked, who is sitting beside him? A uh, national treasure would be the phrase to describe him. The Kansi replied. He continued, he is an expert in applied physics. The middle-aged scholar in the video continued. The concept of absolute energy only surfaced after the discovery of Ricky, what absolute energy refers to is a form of energy which can be converted into any other form of energy without causing any change or disturbance until today. We have yet to discover any form of energy in which absolute energy cannot be converted into, in other words, through some specific means, Reiki is able to convert itself into all other forms of energy, including kinetic energy, heat, potential energy, as well as electrical energy. At the same time, Reiki can be utilized as a tangible substance, such as a Reiki flame. At this point in the video, a flame emerged from the hands of a man clad in a black vest with his face censored, as everyone would know, a fire. Or a flame in this instance, is the result of combustion. When fuel and oxygen in the air mix together and ignites in a chemical reaction, the visible light which appears, as well as any other observed physical changes, can be classified as both chemical and physical phenomena. However, a practitioner who has attained a certain level of mastery of Reiki is able to create and ignite a flame directly without requiring or consuming any fuel. In addition, the intensity of the resulting flame and even the quality and nature of the flame depends on the practitioner's technique and ability. We have already conducted tests on Reiki flames in a fully enclosed and isolated room. It was found that even after 10 minutes of burning, there was no change in the oxygen concentration present in the room. As such, the material that fuels the flames is something which we cannot observe in the physical dimension. It is the Reiki we cannot see that fuels it. However, this does not mean that the flames are not able to combust with tangible objects. In fact, it is only due to the masterful technique of the practitioner that the flame he has created is under his full control. The moment that the practitioner releases the flame from his control, the Reiki flame would be able to burn normally. It would be able to combust with physical materials while consuming oxygen. At the same time, the practitioner would still be able to sustain the fire for an indefinite amount of time with Reiki. As such, the flame would not be extinguished even in extremely cold environments, in conditions where oxygen is scarce or absent, and even in water. In this scenario, Reiki functions as an energy source. It is able to present itself through the familiar physical phenomena we observe. And yet it can still exist. Without any of such physical conditions present, this phenomenon is what we call absolute energy, the middle-aged scholar in the video explained. This scholar then illustrated the dangers of Reiki as an energy source with a few more examples. It can exist anywhere, and it has the potential to do anything. In one scenario, a practitioner would be able to master skills that enable him to survive and live on Reiki energy alone and not needing food and dewater. In the second half of the lesson, the scholar talked about breathing currents. What is breathing current? Actually, it is simply the main processor of our internal circulatory system, said the middle-aged scholar. He explained. The term breathing current better describes what a beginning practitioner feels when he is first able to generate his own. In reality, the breathing current is a special and unique body composition that cannot be observed or measured with physical equi. Pament, this breathing current is usually felt 
most strongly where the dantian is located, which is to 0.55 inches below the navel. Only a practitioner himself would be able to feel the presence of their own breathing currents. It would not be visible to other people. Breathing currents most commonly appear as rotating air currents to the practitioner. Each rotation is able to connect with the Reiki present and the activated Reiki will be absorbed into the body. Causing minute changes to the body condition of the practitioner, as the practitioner achieves a certain level of mastery, his breathing current will increase immensely and the activated and absorbed Reiki will double correspondingly. Currently, the nation is grouping the various levels of practice of all practitioners into ranks and will temporarily be termed as first rank, second rank, third rank, and so on. The importance of a breathing current to a practitioner is irrefutable. The middle-aged scholar pointed to the central processing unit of a computer and said, according to our research, if we compare the physical body of humans to practitioners, breathing currents would have the same purpose as the CPU, the internal storage unit, large external storage devices, and many more breathing currents can also be internal or external, where an internal breathing current always interacts with activated Reiki. While an external breathing current is the intermediary transfer point between the internal, physic, our body and the external Reiki, so the Reiki cannot be used directly. All of the Reiki techniques used by practitioners must first be processed through their breathing currents. Some of these techniques require a comparatively small amount of Reiki. Thus the practitioner can directly utilize the stored and activated Reiki in the body, and hence the effect of these techniques can be released in a very short amount of time. In contrast, if the technique requires more Reiki to take effect, the external breathing current must be utilized. And if the Reiki garnered from the external breathing current is insufficient, the rate of the external breathing current has to be increased to absorb more of the external Reiki present. The middle-aged scholar made an advertisement in the middle of the lesson. The breathing current of a practitioner will automatically be adjusted according to his skill level of Reiki. However, Reiki techniques are still considered to be part of empirical research in the field of science. If a practitioner has any findings or is able to create new Reiki techniques, the practitioner may submit his work to the Zhuan Nation Knowledge Web. There is a specialized team in the Chinese Academy of Sciences who will review the submissions. Thus, it is fine to submit the work in an incorrect format. However, all submitted work must be true and real. Resources for the research of Reiki practice are scarce and precious. So anyone who submits fake and untrue findings would be dealt with severely. So how do we generate our own breathing currents easily and relaxingly? The middle-aged scholar asked suddenly in an extremely exaggerated tone. He continued, of course. It is to practice breathing currents while exercising. The middle-aged scholar was brimming with smiles he must have had much fun teasing in the video. The lower portion of the dantian in the human body is now considered to be a special part naturally containing breathing cur and tease through performing breathing patterns while exercising and hence absorbing Reiki. The Reiki in the body will flow through the blood, organs, and cells of the body. All the Reiki will then eventually be accumulated and stored in the lower part of the dantian as long as there is sufficient Reiki present in the surroundings and the practitioner is able to sustain the breathing rhythms, the flowing Reiki will definitely and automatically create a breathing current. When the breathing current expands to a certain level, the active internal current will be formed and the practitioner will be able to feel it, after which humans will be able to observe the Reiki realm through the internal currents and officially begin their practice in Reiki the diagram of the human body appeared behind the middle-aged scholar in the video. A breathing current was highlighted in blue where the lower portion of the dantian was located. Breathing currents generally appear only after Reiki rejuvenation and are physiological components, which cannot be seen. Instead, it is only generated when the practitioner has practiced sufficiently. The most obvious trait of breathing currents is the constant feedback from the body due to the AC. 
Tivation of Reiki when practicing the breathing. Patterns. Practitioners who have activated their own breathing currents can generally perform the intermediate level technique of breathing patterns without much difficulty. The transformation phase is when the breathing current stabilizes and becomes apparent to the practitioner after a certain period of practice. The practitioner will then be able to perform the breathing patterns and train at any location. The breathing currents generated during the maturing phase and the transformation phase is actually very similar. The only difference is that only when one is able to generate one's own breathing current in the transformation phase. Will one be considered to have fully become a practitioner? At this point, Ren Suo had a sudden realization of something. The middle-aged scholar continued, some people may ask, have there been cases where people are able to generate their own breathing currents without practicing? The answer is yes. Our nation has been able to identify a number of people who are able to generate their own breathing currents naturally without any form of practice. These people would also have been able to master certain Reiki techniques, although they may not necessarily have attained the techniques. From birth, instead, they are able to immediately grasp the techniques after Reiki rejuvenation. However, these Reiki techniques stem directly from the breathing currents themselves. And thus, we are not able to fully understand and replicate them. This group of people who are able to generate their own breathing currents naturally are who we call the extraordinaires. They have extraordinary abilities that are much more powerful than the Reiki techniques used by Ordinary practitioners, although, both utilize Reiki. The procedure to using the techniques are also much simpler and utilizes less activated Reiki from the inner breathing current. These extraordinaires are still able to learn other typical Reiki techniques and continue to improve. Generally speaking, these Reiki techniques, which cannot be fully replicated and which vary from one individual to another are termed awakened abilities. These awakened abilities are suddenly acquired by these people and the extraordinaires who possess such abilities are called the awakened. For now, we still do not know if ordinary practitioners are able to acquire awakened abilities in the future or if the awakened will have further awakened abilities. We are also unsure about the total number of awakened abilities. In addition, the awakened will naturally have their own breathing currents and thus are also able to practice. On the other hand, practitioners need to train their ability to generate their own breathing currents and, even so, they may not be able to become awakened. The lesson on getting to know Reiki went on for the entire afternoon, if not for the fact that they were not allowed to take down any notes. Many people would have written down all the knowledge that was taught to them. The lesson imparted valuable knowledge which had been studied and verified by the nation and this knowledge would not have been available to the general public at the current time when Reiki rejuvenation was only at the starting phase. Even while they were eating their dinner, everyone was still dazed and acting as if they were in a dream, Yuan Deng said as he ate his food. Is the large fireball that emerged from the deputy director's fist yesterday an awakened ability or an ordinary Reiki ability? I think it's a Reiki ability. Zikiansi replied, he was not sure either. He continued, in that scenario, wouldn't it be more suitable to showcase the Reiki techniques, which we can learn? Furthermore, it would be better to encourage us by showcasing an ability which we can achieve too. It is also possible that he used an awakened ability for dramatic effect. Zhao Hua said, Ren Su asked, what makes all of you so sure that the deputy director is? An awakened extraordinary Mui, what do you think, Kiao Mui, who was sitting opposite them to eat, glanced at Ren Suo, she said slowly, if the deputy director is an awakened extraordinaire, can he make me generate my breathing current at a quicker speed, everyone was stunned for a moment, and they suddenly realized that Kiao Mui had subtly criticized them for discussing other practitioners when they had not even been able to generate tea. Their own breathing currents yet, at a loss for words, they continued eating silently. Only Ren Suo was secretly rejoicing he had asked Mui a question directly, and she answered, I am no longer just a stranger to Kiao Mui, am I? Great. 
I should now be able to ask her out to the small fire stand. Get her to sleep in front of me. It's getting colder. Amongst the Tadamia Mountains. A group of tourists who were ascending the mountain in an SUV made several remarks and comments about the plot. So as they looked around, a teenage girl sitting in the last row and wearing only a shirt and outer coat shivered as she quickly took out a down jacket and put it on. We are now reaching for thousand meters above sea level. The tour leader, who was a government official, said, she continued, it will only get colder as we climb higher, so please keep yourselves warm. There are people who freeze to death on the mountain every year. We have already left the forested areas in Tadamia. And in another 10 hours, we will arrive at the grand entrance to the peak of the Holy High Jaw Mountain, the High Jaw Base Camp. If anyone is feeling unwell at any point in time, please let me know immediately. The teenage girl in the last row of the SUV suddenly interrupted. The team leader Anne said, I suppose that the only way to get from Grace City to the base camp is by vehicle, using the mountain roads, of course, said the tour leader. He continued, Grace City is the closest city from the northern peak of High Jaw. You can still fly into Grace City by plane and then reach the main entrance of High Jaw by car. This mountain road is also the only road that is accessible by car. And even the Kameans who live at the foot of High Jaw Mountain access the High Jaw entrance by car. That, that person is the teenage girl gasped. Everyone looked in the direction she was pointing to. They saw a figure with golden colored long hair speeding through the mountains. Slightly over a hundred meters away from them and to the left of their vehicle, the dense forests and the loose gravel on the sloping sides of the mountain posed no challenge to her at all. It was as if she was parkouring. Is that a girl? Some of them remarked in astonishment. It was apparent to them that the clothes the golden-haired figure wore were thin. In the midst of her vigorous movements, her wide black-colored clothes fluttered when the cold breeze blew, accentuating her perfect figure. If one had good eyesight, one could even see her pretty face glistening amidst the dust landing on. Her, what happened to her? Did her car break down? Why is she running upwards? The tour leader muttered. However, he could not even finish his senses. The next thing he knew. His eyes widened in terror as he exclaimed, be careful, the golden. Haired girl ran directly upwards onto a steep cliff at close to a staggering 75 degree angle. However, as she reached out to grab the rocks at the edge of the top of the cliff after walking over 10 mitt, Earth upwards, the rocks cracked and split in two. Pieces, the golden-haired girl lost her balance all of a sudden and stumbled over, just as she was about to roll all the way down along the sides of the cliff. Everyone on the SUV exclaimed in utter horror while looking at the girl fall from such a height. They were about to witness the girl fall to her death if she landed on the rocks at the bottom of the cliff, however. The golden-haired girl was able to react almost instantly as she leaped upwards from the sides of the cliff onto the top edge of it. The gorgeous girl had forward flipped onto the top of the cliff. As they looked on, their hearts all skipped a beat in immense fear. Drive over. Let's see if she needs any help. The teenage girl suggested, however, barely a few seconds had passed when the golden-haired girl began continuing with her journey upwards disappearing quickly from their sight. She was definitely not ascending the mountain by looping around the sides using the mountain road. Instead, she was proceeding upwards along the shortest route while climbing her way past any obstacle. The trembling teenage girl suddenly became excited as she took out her laptop and started typing furiously on the keyboard. You are writing an article, asked someone who was sitting beside her curiously. I am a media editor from Zhuan Nation. This is a miraculous sight, at more than 4,000 meters above sea level. An adventurous girl wearing just a thin layer of clothing is parkouring, the teenage girl replied. Animatedly, she continued, if only I had taken a picture of her just now, but no matter what, writing my article first will not be a problem. Either way, I have a feeling that I will meet her again soon. <laughs> Mini world of endless fun awaits. Translator. 
Dragon Boat Translation Editor. Dragon Boat Translation when Rensul was eating on the second day of the training camp. He noticed that some of the members in Group 8 gave him a thumbs up discreetly. Some of them even went over to him directly and remarked that he was one hell of an amazing guy. Rensul was confused and could not figure out what had actually happened. Eventually, Zikansi provided him with the answer. He said, I did not expect you to go right in for the kill so quickly. Although you are not as handsome as me, I suppose you do have nice, thick eyebrows. What kill? Stop putting up an act, man. I had also just heard about it. You said that you were going out for a walk last night, but you were actually upstairs in the girl's room. Someone saw you walking out of Kiyomi's room, and we all know what is going on. Rensuo was perplexed. He said, I bought a deck of poker cards, so I just went up to play with them. Rensuo was determined to retrieve the key from Kiyomi, hence, he would do anything to get closer to her. There had been no lessons scheduled for the previous night. And many of them were thoroughly exhausted from the training in the day. Furthermore, the Reiki accumulation system at the sports compound was not activated in the night. As such, Rensuo bought a deck of poker cards and brought it up to the girls' room to play. Although there were all ready for people in Kiyomi's room. It was no big deal. The losing player for one game of Big Deuce would sit out for the next game, and thus, there would be four people left in each game. From the experience that Ren Su had from university, bonding through poker cards was a sure way of forging deeper friendships with one another. TSK, there's no use trying to explain yourself. The more you explain, the more it seems like you are hiding something from us. Zikiansi slapped Ran Suo's back lightly and said, Feel free to approach us and ask for help if you need any. Even though Ren Suo had talked Zikiansi down a few times the previous day, he did not hold any grudges against him anymore after a night's sleep. Furthermore, Ren Suo was the only strong person in Group 8 who could utilize the advanced breathing method. It was natural for Zikiansi to think that Ren Suo had a promising future and would definitely want to maintain a good relationship with him. W. Hat is the one most important thing for civil. Servants, good connections. After everyone had finished their breakfast, their instructor, Jia Jingzhang, led the group to another sports ground. All of you will be training here today. Jiao Jingzhang said, in front of him, Ren Suo Sian and sheltered fitness ground, which had various types of fitness equipment installed and was surrounded by a running track. There were already many people panting loudly and practicing the breathing patterns while working. Out with the fitness equipment, it was a bustling sight, Zhao Jingzheng said, this morning, you would all be making use of this fitness equipment in your training during the process. Simply maintain your breathing rhythms after a short rest in the afternoon, we will be heading to the field to run and train. The routine for the next two days would be similar to today's. All of you have to learn to generate your own breathing currents as soon as possible. He continued, Li Qingchuan raised her hand and asked, Wouldn't this be too tiring for us? We trained for the whole morning yesterday. And we already needed the remaining time of the day to get some rest before we could recover to continue training today. Yesterday's training was for you all to familiarize yourselves with the breathing techniques, Zhao Jingzheng said. He explained, now that all of you are familiar with the breathing techniques, even if you have depleted all of your energy in the morning, you will be fine in the afternoon. After drinking the number three potion, after you start drinking the potion and sleep for about an hour, most of your energy will be restored and all of you can continue training in the afternoon. Everyone was amazed. Was there really such a miraculous drink? Furthermore, the name number three potion sounded so grand and professional. Everyone will be given one bottle of the potion if you still have any energy remaining. The effect of the potion will decrease significantly, Zhao. Jing Zhang said, he looked at them and asked, What are all of you still waiting for? Ah, yes, yes. Everyone said as they instantly dispersed to train and practice their breathing patterns. Zhao Jingzhang glanced at the group, turned around and walked back to the dormitory building outside the sports ground. 
He took out his mobile phone and sent a message. The target did not appear today. Any suspicious targets yet? No. Continue to observe them. Over the next two days, the instructors led the students around the various sports grounds to find the most suitable one for them since different people have different physical abilities. Those who are not able to run fast enough to utilize the intermediate level breathing technique could perform much better when doing other fitness exercises as they are more relaxed and are hence more productive. Although Yu Kuang Tu, the deputy director, had not mentioned it previously, all the civil servants who had the opportunity to go for the training camp at the training facility were already considered to be people with important skills. They were very likely to become part of the strategic plans the nation had for the future when Reiki rejuvenation became the key to survival and success. As such, the nation would naturally give them nothing less than the best in terms of their training, at least before they officially become practitioners. At the same time, they also needed to find the most suitable and effective method of training for themselves, and this information would be submitted to the nation for collection and statistical analysis. In addition, it was said that the various cities would be preparing to construct and set up Reiki training centers or upgrade current facilities to include relevant Reiki add-ons. This was to enable the civil servants to be able to continue with their practice after they had completed the training camp. However, there were too many types of facilities to build and the current budget was insufficient, hence, it would not have been feasible to construct all the various types of fitness facilities in all the cities. Instead, the government would consider the type of fitness facility the civil. Servants located in each city were more suited for and cater to them accordingly when constructing the Reiki facilities in the city. After three days, the students had tried out all the various Reiki training facilities. They conducted their own self-training on the fourth day. Ever since the second day, shrill shouts would come suddenly out of nowhere as people were training while running, while exercising with the fitness equipment. Or while playing soccer, basketball, or badminton, do not be alarmed. They were not screaming because of the clash between the otaku part and the sport part of their personality. It was solely because they had activated their own breathing currents. To put it simply, it was overwhelmingly amusing when they felt another organ which they could control in the lower portion of their dantian after they had activated their own breathing currents. They squeezed out every possible second to practice even more diligently, for there would not be any of such beneficial Reiki sports grounds when they returned to their respective cities. Furthermore, they still had to master the intermediate and advanced level breathing techniques as soon as possible. The instructors were not at all surprised by the rate at which the students were progressing. They were all part of the specially handpicked group of practitioners from their previous military companies and had all activated their breathing currents by T. He second portion of their training, just like Zhao Jingzheng, Ren Sua claimed that he only activated his own breathing current on the third day of training. Most people had also activated their breathing currents at this time and so Ren Sua was considered average and did not attract much. Attention, however, only Ren Suo himself knew that he had already activated his breathing current from the very beginning during the first day. On the first day, Ren Suo had already felt a subtle palpitation from the lower part of his dantian, but he had not known then that was perfectly normal until he found out during the introductory lesson to Reiki that it was actually the effect of the breathing current. However, during the introductory lesson to Reiki, it was said that there would be a prominent feeling when the breathing current formed, and this was in line with what other people told him when he asked them, as such. Ren Suo himself also did not know when exactly he had activated his own breathing current. Ren Suo thought hard about it and figured it was due to the enhanced physique ability he had equipped his avatar with. When he fell deep asleep at that time, he did not know what changes had occurred to his body. Other than this, he could not think of any other logical explanation. Regardless, this did not affect his training, for days had already gone by and tomorrow would be the last day of the training. 
Ransuo could not wait to finally be able to return to his mini world's gaming console at home. On the fourth afternoon, the group was consuming their lunch as usual in the dining hall. Ransuo finished drinking his potion and waited for the rest of his roommates to finish eating so that they could return to tea. A room and take a nap while the potion took effect for them to continue training later in the afternoon. However, he did not want to let the free time go to waste, and thus took out his deck of poker cards to play a game of battling the landlord with Kiao Mi and the rest of the girls. Do you have a decently good impression of me now, Muyi? Will you let me touch you for a few minutes so that I can get my key for the past few days? Ren Suo had strongly encouraged his roommates to sit with Kiao Mi and her roommates during their meals and his roommates did not object to his request either. They even teased him while keeping a straight face, as if having split personalities, tapping on his shoulders and saying, We will help you, but you must also remember to help us, Ren. Sue almost thought that they wanted him to be one of the Pumpkin Brothers. Just then, a fight broke out at the entrance to the dining hall. Everyone looked over curiously. Ren Suo craned his neck as he took the opportunity to peek at Li Qingxuan's hand, for she was the Dijou landlord for the round. What are you looking at? Li Qingxuan retorted. She flicked Ren Suo's head with her finger and said, Don't cheat. The fight at the entrance to the dining hall was growing more intense and it seemed like someone was becoming violent. The onlookers quickly formed a surrounding circle to watch the fight, and the already small entrance was becoming more cramped. Ren Suo saw that he could not win the landlord in the game and instead collected back his cards and said, You all have already finished eating, right? Let's go back to sleep. Everyone returned their trays to the tray return counter. As they passed by the entrance ready to leave, they saw that a fight indeed had broken out, too. Guys wearing the grey-colored vests were being held back by other people and the two of them were staring intensely at each other with so much fury. It was as if laser beams were shooting out from their eyes. The scene felt like a husky and a poodle. Facing off with each other in the competition pit, nonetheless, it seemed like everything was under control now that they were being held back by people. All of them that were here at the training camp were civil servants, and they, no doubt, had a certain level of awareness. They would not just let them start fighting physically without doing anything to stop them. However, just as Ren Suo and his group were about to leave the dining hall, a loud roar emerged from within the crowd. I want you. To die, suddenly, with a thunderous crack, numerous flames appeared in the ground and began radiating outwards rapidly as if it was a river of lava flowing everywhere. Mini World of Endless Fun Awaits Translator Dragon Boat Translation Editor Dragon Boat Translation The Ring of Fire took everyone by surprise. Those who were closest to the center of all the action were engulfed in flames and blasted backward. Several meters away, even those who were looking on from a slightly farther distance were thrown off their feet and onto the ground behind them, fortunately for Ren Suo and his group. They had not been close to the scene and had only lost their balance and fallen onto the ground. Although the initial burst of flames had reached them, their clothes had not caught fire. They looked at the flaming man in utter shock and disbelief. Without a doubt, he was a flaming man. All of his clothes had already burned into ashes and his skin was dry and fragmented resembling cracked earth. The red boiling blood underneath his skin glowed intensely and flowed like lava. All of his hair had been burned into nothingness. The flames which caught all. The onlookers around him by surprise had now become his protective armor. His abilities must have been awakened. Everyone thought so as they recalled what Yu Quang too. The deputy director had told them previously there was no other possible explanation for what they had just witnessed. From a student who was still undergoing training to learn to generate his own breathing current to suddenly utilizing such a horrific skill. It must have been his awakening up till now, although most of the students had successfully activated their own breathing currents, they still had doubts about the entire concept of Reiki. 
for the feeling they experienced when they generated their own breathing currents was just too underwhelming. It did not feel fulfilling or grand like what comics portrayed. They merely felt like they had grown another organ inside their body, and when they practiced, they could feel this organ growing stronger and bigger. However, they found themselves being unable to control this organ. Taking Zikianzi as an example, he had activated his own breathing current on the night of the third day of training. He was so excited that he could not keep still as he announced to the world that he would practice. Until he awakened his ultimate skill, and yet he was the fastest one to fall asleep that night. Dreaming about oneself being able to control a desired energy source seemed to be a very effective sleeping. Pill, on the other hand, right in front of everyone, was an ordinary student who had suddenly turned into someone wielding a powerful skill. Although the effect of his skill still could not compare to the deadly wrath of a hand grenade, the flames were generated all by himself, and this power has a limitless potential to grow. If he could be a flaming man now, what would stop him from becoming a flaming asteroid in the future? Shame on him, standing naked in broad daylight. Kiao Mi exclaimed. Everyone lowered their heads as they heard. Kiao Mi's voice from behind them. Indeed, the flaming man was standing bare in his birthday suit, and the cracks and fissures remained on his skin. As if he was a worm that was about to emerge from his cocoon. Ha! TC8. The flaming man grabbed his. Throat as the onlookers shouted in shock and fled away from him. A mysterious tinge of sadness emerged from his eyes. He tried to go closer to the crowd. But the flames started to dance around according to his movements. His feet scorched the ground, leaving dark, black marks as the waves of flames grew bigger and more intense. Everyone, including Ren Suo, could feel the room heating up suddenly. Everyone distanced themselves from the flaming man as fast as they could. But Ren Suo took a few steps forward instead and became very noticeable in the crowd, which was backing away. Brother Ren Suo, what are you doing? Yuan Dang asked when he saw Ren Suo moving forward. He hurriedly grabbed Ren Suo's arm to stop him and said, Let's go quickly. This guy's out of control. Ren Suo was jolted from his daze as his heart started palpitating quickly. He stared at the flaming man as a look of struggle appeared on his face. He had found yet another. Ki, compared to Kiao Mi, the flaming man was an extremely dangerous creature. If he were to rush into the ring of flames, the people around him would not suspect anything, but would instead give him a thumbs up and compliment him for being brave and courageous enough to stop the man. However, the problem was that Ren Suo would not be able to subdue the man. Even though he had equipped himself with the enhanced physique and fighter novice abilities, it was obvious that his physical ability was still within the limits of humans. Yet, the flaming man in front of him was just like someone who time traveled from the technological times to the magical dimension. Without a gun, there was no way he could defeat the man. Just at this moment, a few bald men emerged from the crowd. No, they were guys with a buzz cut. A few muscular soldiers. Who were also practicing pushed their way through the crowd and walked towards the flaming man valiantly. Stop now! One of the men commanded loudly. He said, "Take deep breaths. Don't let the Reiki eat into your brain." Arg! Ah! 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 The flaming man bellowed as he straightened his back. As he screamed, a pillow of flames emerged under his feet and flames started dancing around the entire dining hall. If only he had clothes on. Kiel. Mui said with a sigh. Everyone nodded their heads in agreement. It was only now that Ren Su realized why all superheroes wore their trademark underwear at the very least. Otherwise, no matter how cool or stunning their abilities were, they could not be spared from a very embarrassing predicament. The next moment, without any warning, the flaming man dashed straight towards the three soldiers with his dark. A burnt body that was suddenly glowing like a hot red burning metal. Has he gone mad? Now, one of the soldiers questioned as he picked up a large table from beside him. He lifted the table above his head and threw it directly at the flaming man. He instructed, "Let's bring him under control first." Accordingly, the three soldiers ran fearlessly into the fire. 
The flaming man raised his hands as the table flew towards him, and instantly the table fragmented into pieces with a loud crack. The three soldiers took the opportunity to run towards the flaming man. The soldiers seemed to have an invisible protective cloak around them. They were surrounded by the flames, but the flames avoided them automatically. They could even touch the burning skin of the flaming man directly with their bare hands. Ah, uh, the flaming man let out a roar as a slew of fiery flames radiated outwards from him. However, the three soldiers remained unharmed as they pinned him to the ground. After a short while, the flames died out and the man's cracked and fissured skin returned back to normal. He was no longer struggling and instead laid motionless on the ground. Ah, what a sight! Three muscular men sitting on a naked man lying on the ground in broad daylight. The dining hall became noisy aga. In as the onlooking crowd and the three soldiers looked grimly at the man. What happened here? Ren Sua broke out of his daze. He saw Lee Dan with his dark eye bags and donning his black vest walking towards him. He seemed to have just finished his meal with grains of rice still remaining at the corners of his mouth. He was slightly shocked as he saw the three strong soldiers pinning a naked man down on the floor, but recovered his senses quickly. He said, he has been awakened. Bring him to the logistics area and take care of him there, Lee. Dan surveyed one round around the dining hall and asked, can anyone explain to me what had just happened? I remember seeing you. Do you know what just happened? Oh my gosh, have you not eaten yet? That's so disgusting. Everyone else had moved further away from the man just now, and Ren Suo, who had stood rooted in his original spot, was naturally the most noticeable. He heard what Li Dan said and quickly wiped away his saliva and replied, I just finished my food. Ah, it seemed like the man fought with another person, and as they were fighting, he suddenly began shooting flames, fighting with someone else. Li Dan looked around and saw the students who had been blown out of the dining hall and were engulfed in flames. Gosh, he created such a big mess. The few of you carry the injured students and follow us to the logistics area. Ren Su and the few others who had been pointed out by Li Dan looked at each other blankly. Ren Su asked, do we need stretchers? We have not learned how to perform first aid before. The few of them out there look like they are almost dying. It's more important to bring them to the logistics department to treat them as soon as possible. Li Dan said, the medical officers at the logistics department are all having their meals now. It's already a hassle to disrupt their meal and call them over now. The few of them followed Li Dan's instructions and gathered over 10 people to help carry the six. People who suffered the most severe Injuries, five others who had been burned but had been slightly farther away also followed Lee down to the logistics area. As they walked quickly towards the logistics area carrying the six burned bodies and one naked man, they naturally attracted a lot of attention. Lee Dan, as excited as the smartphone zombies in the cities, was walking at the front while he played on his mobile phone. The moment they entered the logistics area, they saw two men clad in black vests watching American drama shows. While consuming their meals, they looked up and saw the injured members and said calmly, leave them on the bed. Lee Dan said, there's one who had just awakened. That one there without any clothes on, Ish, one of the men clad in the black vest, said as he stood up with his mouth still full, he walked over to the man and hit the man's stomach with force. An astonishing sight unfolded before them mysterious runes appeared out of nowhere from the typical-looking hospital bed with white sheets. Chains suddenly emerged from the four legs of the bed and chained the man securely to the bed. The man in the black vest proceeded to tap the other injured members' bodies. But something different happened. A warm glow radiated from the beds they were on and surrounded them completely stopped looking. It's time to leave, Lee Dan reminded. He said, it's been so many days here. Are you all still so shocked at such a sight? The students smiled bitterly. They had not been able to snap out from the usual technological world and adapt to such a mystical world. Ren Sua glanced at Kiamui and walked over to Li Dan. He asked, That, do you still remember me? I still remember you. 
Li Dan said, You always appear without leaving a trace in. Front of me, Ren Sua was perplexed. How could someone like him who have gone through nine years of compulsory education not know how to use idioms properly, regardless? Ren Suo instinctively wanted to form a good relationship with Li Dan even though. Kiao Mei was soon to be in his reach but both of them had his keys. He said, by the way, is Mo Jialong also one of the awakened? Mo Jialong, oh, that criminal with extraordinary abilities. Li Dan looked at Ren Suo and said, I am not supposed to disclose this to normal citizens, but since you are more than ordinary people, and you would encounter them anyway, I will tell you. That extraordinary criminal's awakened ability is fog of lethargy. So anyone who is close enough to him will be affected by the Reiki-generated fog which is invisible and has no smell. An average person will fall unconscious within five seconds. And he previously used this ability of his to sexually assault a few girls after they finished. Work at night. Ren Sua was slightly surprised. He said, he must be so brave to continue being a civil servant. Li Dan explained, who will look for extraordinary criminals like him, the government? And who will likely be researching on extraordinary abilities? The government, he thought that by putting himself in the government as a civil servant, not only would he be able to hide his true identity, he would also be able to obtain more information from the government and even get a support from there. Government when he needed to gain higher authority. Li Dan smiled and continued, Actually, his thinking is not wrong. If extraordinaires want to join forces with us voluntarily, and if they had not used their extraordinary abilities to commit crimes previously, we will actually treat these awakened extraordinaires well. But now, haha, as the deputy director has mentioned, these awakened extraordinaires who use their awakened abilities to commit crimes would all be sent to the research center. Li Dan looked at Ren Su and said, Anyway, you are from Lianjiang City, right? We would likely be colleagues soon. I am Li Dan. Ren Su stretched his hand out and replied, I am Ren Su. Li Dan looked at Ren Su's outstretched hand and laughed. He shook hands with Ren Su and turned around to leave. Ren Su also followed the rest of the group back to their dormitory. Someone asked him, Ren Su, you met the guy in the black vest before. Yes, indeed, Ren Su said. He then told them about his experience with Mo Jialong previously and what Li Den had told him about Mo Jialong. Everyone started discussing about the matter. There's even such awakened abilities. If only such an awakened ability could be used to treat. Insomnia, that's right, how could he use it to sexually assault girls? Kiao Mi said solemnly, but why are all of you so excited about this? The Kianzi said self-righteously, how can that be? We are all members of the government, how could we have such inappropriate thoughts? Ren Suo remained speechless the entire walk back to their dormitory. When they were about to reach their dormitory, Ren Suo suddenly patted Kiao Mui on the back and smiled as he returned her gaze. He said, It's nothing. There was a mosquito on your back. I swiped it away. Kiao Mui returned a short O as the voices of those around them who were discussing about Mo Jialong became quieter momentarily, but Ray turned back to normal after a second. Ren Suo had not noticed such details. When he got back to his room, he lay down on his bed immediately as the voice he heard just moments ago repeated in his head, a key has been found. The key is in a foreign state. Starting to retrieve the key, the key has already been formed. 10,999 seconds required to retrieve the key. Do not remove physical contact. 10,998, 10,997, 10,996. That was what he had heard when he touched Li Den. A key has been found. The key is in a friendly state, starting to retrieve. The key, the key has already been formed. 4,600 seconds required to retrieve the key. Do not remove physical contact. 4,599, 4,598, 4,597. That was what he had heard when he touched Kiao Mi. Previously, when Ren Su had touched Li Dan, the key was 
in a high alert state and was unable to be retrieved. Now, Li Dan's key was in a foreign state. Which meant that Li Dan's impression of Ren Suo would determine the difficulty to retrieve the key FR. Um him, in other words, the closer to people. Were, the easier it was to retrieve the key. Based on fighting ability alone, there was no question that Ren Suo would not be able to defeat the experienced Li Dan. However, the varying difficulty for him to retrieve the key from Li Dan was proof that there was an extremely viable method to retrieve the keys from people, which did not involve physical force, to hypnotize them, indeed. As long as they would fall asleep comfortably in front of Ren Suo, he would be able to retrieve the keys from them easily. He could just treat the voice telling him about the key state and the countdown timer as the progress bar in Galgamas. Ren Suo had purposefully touched Kiyomi briefly just to prove that his theory was correct. Previously, when he and Kiyomi were still strangers, more than 9,000 seconds were required to retrieve the key. However, he only needed 3,000 seconds to do so now. And the state of the key had progressed from foreign to friendly, indicating that a good relationship would indeed shorten the retrieval time, make good relationships, and get them in bed. Ren Su had found his own goal, own goal, own goal. Mini world of endless fun awaits. Translator, Dragon Boat Translation Editor, Dragon Boat Translation on the night of the fourth day of their training. The camp participants were led to a large building by their respective instructors. 303, we're here, Zhao Jingzhong said as he stopped in front of the door of one of the many rooms in the building. He pushed the door open as he turned around and said to the group, When all of you are inside, don't touch any of the things or you may damage them. If anything happens, you will have to bear the consequences. Over the course of the last three days, all the members of Group 8 had gotten a better idea of their instructor. Zhao Jingzhong's character and habits. Although Zhao Jingzhong was previously from the military, he always spoke in a calm and composed manner and never once emphasized important information twice. It was possible that this was his natural character. Or perhaps it was due to the fact that Ziki and Si had gone. Against his instructions on the very first day, he would make sure to teach the group all that he needed, but he never once talked about the consequences of misbehavior in detail. It was all up to the students to follow his instructions, but it was. Also not unreasonable to say that he was merely going with the flow and doing the bare minimum. On the third day when they headed to the third exercise ground to train, Zhao Jingzhong briefly told them to avoid using any of the equipment which had a red-colored star marking on them but did not tell them the rationale behind it. One of the group members had been curious and used one of such equipment. He instantly found himself drained of all his energy and had no strength to carry on. Training the entire morning until he drank the elixir during lunch and recovered some of his energy. They soon found out that those equipment were specially for first-tier practitioners. Such equipment will slowly and healthily deplete their active Reiki through which they can gradually expand their total Reiki storage capacity. Users of such equipment who have yet to develop into full-fledged practitioners would only find themselves drained of all their energy. From then on, everyone took Zhao Jingzhong's warnings seriously and did not dare to ignore them. When they entered the room, they saw three long rows of tables with a hexagonal plate on each of them. And above each plate hovered an almost transparent cube-shaped crystal. There was also a blackboard and a teacher's desk at the front, making the room look like a classroom. There were 10 members in group 8, and there were 30 cubic crystals in the room. They stood behind the rows of tables as they watched the crystals float above the plates giving them a mysterious feeling, magnetic levitation. One of them asked, to be precise, it's Ricky levitation, Zhao Jingzhong corrected. He said solemnly, I have to ask all of you now, has anyone not activated their own? Breathing currents, no one spoke up, that's good. Only those who have activated their own breathing currents will benefit from today's lesson. He said, he continued, today. You will be learning about the most basic and elementary Reiki techniques, Reiki techniques, 
Instantly, everyone became excited. They were finally going to master some out-of-the-ordinary abilities if extraordinaires were compared to firearms. Then they had been accumulating ammunition when they were practicing how to generate their own breathing currents previously, while the weapon itself was the Reiki technique they used. The power of the extraordinaires was, of course, not how much ammunition they had, but the magnitude of the effect from Firing their shots, Zhao Jingzhong picked up the two large diagrams from the desk in front of him and attached them to the blackboard with magnets. There were two people demonstrating an ability on each of the diagrams. One of the diagrams has the word clothing and the other had the word lock on it. He explained, the two Reiki techniques that you all will be learning today are clothing and lock. Clothing utilizes the active Reiki of your internal breathing current to protect you. From external harm by forming an invisible armor on you, I'm sure many of you have witnessed, for yourselves, the incident that happened in the afternoon where the man awakened. That awakened ability is actually decently powerful. And not only does it allow the user to transform himself physically, it also allows him to control the strength of the flames. However, once you make use of the clothing technique, you will not be harmed in any way, he continued. When you are swimming, the clothing technique will allow you to breathe in the water by channeling away the water directly around you. In tests which have been conducted to test the ability of clothing to withstand an external force, it was found that a practitioner who has used clothing can withstand an impact from a heavy truck traveling at 60 kilometers per hour and even remain rooted to the ground on impact, of course. The assumption here is that the practitioner has sufficient Reiki to sustain the ability. However, with clothing, physical attacks from normal people is well within tolerable limits. As he explained, Zhao Jingzhong pointed to one of the large diagrams on the board. One of the figures in the diagram was attacking the other figure who had an invisible armor on him, he said, swords and daggers, the fist, chainsaws, these are just some of the more commonly seen weapons which clothing can protect you against without much difficulty. However, you all must remember that clothing cannot protect you from bullets, so if someone is pointing a gun at you, I would still suggest that you run away first. Furthermore, clothing has other useful applications. For example, at this juncture, Zhao Jingzhong took the clothing diagram down from the board with a swift movement of his finger, he slid the paper into two halves. Following a quick whoosh, a clean cut appeared in the paper. Although he had only used his finger to slice the paper into two, the cut looked so clean and neat, as if it was performed with a pair of scissors. If you find the time to study clothing in detail and practice more, you would be able to concentrate your Reiki onto just a tiny spot and use it like a knife or sword, of course. This is not easy at all and also unnecessary, Zhao Jingzhong said. He continued, if you are really going to be fighting for our nation in the future, you will definitely be taught other Reiki techniques used for war. Nonetheless, clothing is the starting point for most other Reiki techniques, so you will definitely not go wrong practicing clothing more. Ren Suo was sure that Zhao Jingzhong had used a clothing technique to protect himself from water when he sparred with them earlier. On if he had used this technique when he sparred with Ren Suo. Ren Suo would still have stood no chance against him even though he was equipped with the enhanced physique and fighter novice ability. Eyes, everyone, this is clothing, said Zhao. Jing Zhang as he showed his right arm to everyone. He continued, although we say that clothing is invisible, you would still see some traces of it when you scrutinize at a closer distance. Look carefully, the students observed Zhao Jingzhong's arm. Carefully, there seemed to be a layer of mist forming around his arm, as if heat was radiating and disrupting the airflow. Upon using the clothing technique, a thin and almost invisible layer of Reiki would form over your skin. This layer of Reiki would be able to filter the molecules directly around you and hence will disrupt the flow of air around you slightly. This is also the reason why you are protected from most external harm and impact. Once you are more adept at the technique, you 
will be able to manipulate the layer of Reiki as you desire, allowing it to form only where you need it, naturally, this would require a very high level of mastery, but would greatly reduce the amount of Reiki it requires to sustain it. Currently, we have found that clothing cannot protect you against objects traveling at or faster than the speed of sound, such as fired bullets, as well as attacks using light, poisonous gas, and sound. Well, if you were to jump from a building, the result would differ based on the height you jump from. Generally, you would be safe from a height of 30 meters or less, but any higher, and it would depend on your luck. Zhao Jingzhong pointed to the other diagram on the board and said, Apart from the clothing technique, you all would also be learning the lock technique. On the diagram, a small figure was holding on to the right hand of small figure B. While pushing down on the back of the head of small figure B with the other hand, Reiki is intangible and cannot be seen, and so are your breathing currents. However, it is possible to use Reiki to disrupt the breathing current, Zhao Jingzhong said. He explained. The lock technique is the ultimate move to use when dealing with ordinary people. It uses Reiki to suppress and control the physical movements of the human body when lock is used. The practitioner can only control the target and other techniques cannot be used concurrently. As a result, the target would be locked in position and unable to move at all. This does not mean that lock becomes useless when dealing with those who are awakened. It would still be able to limit the effectiveness of the target's Reiki current, of course. The assumption is that the target would not be hindering you from using your Reiki to attack him. In other words, the clothing technique would be able to overcome lock completely. However, when you are dealing with those who become awakened on their own, using lock would likely make your target lose the willpower to continue fighting or resisting your attacks. Resisting your attacks. Many world of endless fun awaits. Translator, Dragon Boat Translation Editor, Dragon Boat Translation Zhao Jingzhan gave a brief explanation of the lock technique though he did not bother demonstrate. In the use of the technique, instead, he continued with the next topic and asked, I suppose all of you are very curious about the crystal cubes in front of you, aren't you? I'm sure that some of you would have guessed correctly. All of you will be making use of these crystal cubes too. Learn the Reiki techniques, he answered his own question. Although the clothing and lock techniques are very simple, do not have any special or hidden tricks, and have very limited potential for widespread destruction at least when you all use them, they are still very valuable and precious techniques. After all of you learn these two techniques, you would basically have the ability to subdue any normal person. Your breathing currents would not be detected by regular security checks, such as those on trains and at train stations or at the airport, you all would be able to take any normal person down without any weapons at all. As long as they do not use any extremely violent weapons against you, Taekwondo, Karate, Xing Yi Fist, the E Trick Ram Palm, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, all the close combat fighting techniques normal people learn would be useless against you, as long as you catch them. They would all be able to be subdued by you, he continued, in other words, once you master the proper way of using the techniques, you would be akin to half a superman. As such, important techniques like these naturally cannot be transmitted or imparted to just anyone so easily. All of you here can learn these two techniques solely because you have been approved by the nation and have cleared background checks. Furthermore, all of you are people with ordinary abilities However, it still does not mean that information from here would not leak out for sure. In fact, this knowledge could even be transmitted to those who are awakened but had not been discovered yet. If such awakened people get their hands on these Reiki techniques, they would pose huge security risks to the entire society. As such, this is how you all would receive the knowledge Zhao Jingzhong pointed to his head and said through understanding, not spoken. The crystal cubes you see in front of you are special study tools developed by the research center named the Knowledge Web. Now, I want all of you to hold the crystals in your hands and try to generate your breathing flows while letting the Reiki flow in your body, Zhao Jingzhong instructed. 
Ren Suo and the rest of the group gently lifted the floating crystals from the plate. They could feel the coldness of the crystals on their palms, under the light of the incandescent lamps in the room, a warm glow reflected off the edges of the crystal. The breathing patterns could be utilized even when they were not exercising, especially for the students in practice mode who could already generate their own breathing currents, they would still be able to utilize Reiki while maintaining the breathing patterns normally, albeit with lower effectiveness, according to research. When they generated their breathing current while at rest, the basic breathing technique had 0.1% effectiveness, the intermediate level breathing technique would be 0.33% effective, while the advanced breathing technique would be 1.5% effective. With such low effectiveness, they would have been better off spending their time sleeping, however, as they used the breathing patterns at this time. They noticed that the crystals had begun to glow faintly. Following this, they felt a tingling sensation along their arms as they continued holding on to the crystal cubes. The sensation was akin to that felt in the calves when standing up after squatting down in the toilet for half an hour. The tingling continued radiating upwards through their arm and all the way to their heads. What followed next were changes that happened to the left eye of those who were holding the crystals on their left hand. Likewise. There were also changes happening to the right eye of those who were holding the crystals on their right hand. Rensuo was holding the crystal in his right palm, and correspondingly, he lost all his vision in his right eye leaving a lonely darkness on one side of his vision. Zhao Jingzheng said, Now close your eyes, and follow the instructions carefully. Rensuo closed both of his eyes and his entire world plunged into darkness, however, he could still make out a distinctive gray seed in the pitch darkness. He attempted to think of touching this gray seed, but in his vision, he could only see ripples forming when he thought of touching it. Nothing else happened. What was going on? Ren Suo was stunned for a moment until Zhao Jingzhong said, Hold on for a short while. There are still groups which have not gotten into position. Two minutes later, Zhao Jingzhong said, We are going to start now. Follow the instructions carefully and wait patiently. Don't mess around. Counting down now in 10, 9, 8, 7. When Zhao Jingzhong reached zero, Ren Suo saw the entire dark space light up instantly by a fire. The fire was weak and at an extremely long distance away, as if it was about to be extinguished, and yet it was able to glow so brightly. Ren Suo almost thought it was just a figment of his imagination. However, the next instant a weak but bright fire lit up in another spot, followed by a third fire, then a fourth, a fifth, within a couple of seconds. Ren Suo saw the entire dark space light up with countless flames, although each individual flame was weak and seemed insignificant. All the flames joined together to form a large, red net of fire, Lighting up the entire space, Ren Suo tried to touch the gray seed again. And this time with just a quick thought, the gray seed also lit up in flames. Immediately, instinctively, Ren Suo knew that this was his appearance in the dark space, and he and the other flames were connected together in a mysterious and unexplainable way. Welcome all practitioners to the knowledge web, a sentence in an. Ariel font appeared as flames. It is now time to transmit knowledge on the technique's clothing and lock. Proceeding to authentication of origin. Representatives from the Qinghai region. Please light your flame of authentication. Amongst the sea of flames, Ren Suo saw a region of flames flicker momentarily. A red circle emerged from the flickering region of flames, which encompassed the flames in the immediate area. Next. Representatives from Tianjin region, more and more red circles, appeared as the senses which appeared guided everyone along the authentication process. Very soon, it was Ren Suo and his group's turn. Representatives from Lian provincial region, please light your flame of authentication. Ren Suo could only feel the area right in front of him become occupied by a wheel of fire, and then saw his flame within an enormous, pale red colored protective bubble. So this is how the red circle actually looks like, Ren Suo thought. After a few more minutes, the 
Flames of Senses finally finished authenticating all the regions and proceeded to the next step. Next, all representative please download clothing and lock. Download. It had been a long time since Ren Suo heard such a typical term from the internet ever since the training camp started, and he was surprised for a moment. The flaming sentences turned into two large yellow-colored words glowing warmly, close and lock, countless fire owl. Inkages radiated outwards from each of the two. Words connecting to the edges of every red circle, Ren Sua saw the red circle his flame was in shake slightly as the fire links from the two words attached to the red circle. Then even more fire links formed and connected to the flames within the circle, Ren Suo's flame instantly became bigger as if more firewood had been added to it. The next moment, he felt as if a wave of knowledge was injected into his subconscious no. It was not words, not sound, nor images. Instead, Ren Suo felt as if he was in one of his memories, and he started generating his breathing current as Ren Suo manipulated the flowing Reiki in his mind. He could feel the Reiki transform into a protective armor on him, or become a layer of air flowing. Along and locking, his arm like invisible shackles, when Ren Suo broke out from the memory, he saw a line of words appear in front of him as flames, knowledge of clothes and lock has been transmitted successfully, e. Ziding current knowledge web session in 13 seconds. After 13 seconds, the flame furthest away from him extinguished, and the entire space began turning dark again as if the entire city started losing power. The flames which had been present everywhere within the space began to die off, and... Even Renswo's own flame seemed to lose all its fuel source and extinguished. The knowledge net session ended, and the entire space returned to darkness. Renzu opened his eyes and saw the other students placing the crystal cubes back down onto the table with their faces filled with excitement and awe. This is how Reiki techniques are taught, Zhao Jingzhang said stately as he stood at the front of the room. The knowledge is learned through understood yet unspoken experience.